Hi, my name is Ni Hongfang. My talk is about data poisoning attacks and defense to crowdsourcing system. This is a joint work with Ming Hao Zun, Qin Li, Yer Zhen Chang Gong, Jin Tian, and my advisor Zhang Liu. This talk will be divided into five parts. First, I will introduce some background knowledge about crowdsourcing, truth discover, and some related work. In the second part, I'm going to talk about the problem we are going to solve and our proposed attack framework. Then, I will discuss the experimental results of our, our proposed attack. In the fourth part, I'm going to introduce two defenses to mitigate our disposing attacks. After that, I will conclude my talk. Crowdsourcing is a popular platform to collect data provided by individuals. In crowdsourcing system, each user or each worker provides a value for a given item. This value could be the numerical data or some category labels. The server in the crowdsourcing system then use some aggregation approach to estimate a aggregated value for this item use the data provided by workers. The key challenge in crowdsourcing is how to aggregate the data provided by workers. A straightforward approach is a majority routing or taking the average of the collected data. The drawback of majority routing and average is that it treats all the workers equally. It is pretty important to take the quantity of workers into consideration. However, the workers' quality is usually unknown in practice. To deal with this challenge, truth discovery becomes a hot topic in recent years because it can jointly estimate worker quality and infer the truth from the data. The intuition behind the truth discovery is simple. If a worker does not have a large deviation from the majority of the workers, then this worker is more likely to be a reliable worker. And if a piece of information is provided by reliable workers, then this information is more likely to be correct. Most maths in the truth discovery family are based on the assumption that all the workers are benign. Recent studies have found that existing truth discovery maths are vulnerable to data poisoning attacks. However, all these proposed attack models focus on crowdsourcing applications with category labels, and they do not consider the potential defense deployed by the server side. In practice, numerical data is not only commonly used, but also of high value. For example, temperature values, oil price, economic statistics are all numerical data. Last, I will introduce two state-of-the-art truth discovery math that are commonly used in crowdsourcing systems. The first one is CRH model. CRH model measures the reliability of a worker as a weight. It can handle both category and numerical data. CRH model formulates the estimations of the aggregated values and the worker weights as this following optimization problem. CRH model solves the optimization problem by iteratively updating the following two steps. In these steps, the worker's weight are fixed, and the aggregated value for item i is updated by this equation. Last, the aggregated value are fixed, and the weight of each worker is updated. These two steps are repeated until some convergence condition is satisfied. GTM model is a Bayesian model for numerical data in truth discovery. In GTM model, the reliability of a worker are captured by a variance parameter. A worker with a large variance are more likely to provide inaccurate values. The GTM model formulates the following optimization problem to estimate the aggregated values and worker variance. The GTM model leverages the EM framework to estimate the aggregated values 
and work variance. These two steps are repeated until some congruency criteria is met. In this slide, I will formally introduce our attack model. The goal of the attacker is to maximize the estimation errors of the aggregated value for some targeted items. The attacker can have different knowledge of the targeted crowdsourcing system. In particular, we consider two cases, full knowledge and partial knowledge. In the full knowledge scenario, we assume that the attacker lost all values provided by workers and the aggregation mask used by the crowdsourcing system. In the partial knowledge attack, we assume that the attacker only loads a subset of values provided by workers and the aggregation approach used by the crowdsourcing systems. In our threat model, we assume that the attacker is able to inject some malicious workers into the crowdsourcing system and launch attacks by carefully corrupting their values. For example, the attacker in this figure control these malicious workers and provide values for these malicious workers. Now we formulate our data poisoning attacks as an optimization problem. Suppose T is a set of targeted items. U tilde is a set of malicious workers. The goal of the attacker is to find an optimum value for each malicious worker to read each targeted item, such that after injecting this malicious worker into the crowdsourcing system, the distance of the aggregated value after attack and before attack is maximized. I mean, the attacker wants to maximize these two distances. In the full knowledge attack, the attacker loses all the value provided by normal workers because the goal of the attacker is to maximize the distance of estimated values for targeted items before and after attack, and the goal of the server is to estimate the value for each item. Uh, so if we consider these two goals together, we can formulate this by level optimization problem. We can say that the upper level, the upper level problem is to determine the optimal fake values for the malicious workers, and the lower level uh, problem is to estimate the aggregated value for each item. Uh, by level optimization is a bit hard. Uh, let's ever show how to solve this by level optimization problem. We propose the following uh, two step iterative mask to solve the above by level optimization problem. The first step is to update the aggregated values and workers' width or variance. In this step, the attacker fixes the managed workers' values. Then solve the lower level optimization problem to get the aggregated values. For example, for the CH model, we can iteratively update the, these two steps to get the aggregated values. And once we get the aggregated values, we can use the standard grading ascent mask to update the malicious workers' values. And we repeat these two steps until convergence. For the partial knowledge attack, we assume that the attacker only loads the value of normal workers for the targeted items. From previous slides, we know that the attacker needs to estimate the before attack values for each target item. However, uh, since the attacker only uh, loads part of values provided by normal workers, so it is hard for the attacker to estimate the before attack values. Uh, in our paper, we use the bootstrapping technique to get more accurate before attack as emission values for the target items. Suppose ST is a set of normal workers whose value on the target items can be accessed by the attacker. In our attack model, we leverage the bootstrapping technique to get B as emission for each item. Uh, to be specific, for each estimation, the attacker first randomly samples a set of normal workers from ST with replacement. Then we compute the aggregated values based on the sample data. Uh, for example, for the CH model, we can use the weighted average mask to compute the aggregated values. 
we repeat this process uh, b times, then average the b estimations. Uh, this is our partial knowledge attack procedure. First, we leverage the bootstrapping technique to estimate the before attack estimation values, then repeat these two steps until convergency. We evaluate our attack on one synthetic and two well world datasets. The statistics of the three datasets are shown in Table 1. We compare our attack with two baselines random attack and a maximum attack. For the random attack, each malicious worker random assign a number from the normal range uh, as a value for the target item. For the maximum attack, each malicious worker always provides the maximum value to the target item. And uh, the evaluate metric is defined as the error of aggregated value before and after attack. The larger the estimation error, the better the attack model. This figure shows the estimation errors of different attacks as the attack size increase when attacking the CRH model. We observe that our attack is effective in terms of inducing large estimation errors, and our attack also performs baseline attacks on three data sets. Remember that the CH model uses a weight parameter to capture the worker's reliability. A worker should be a higher weight if his value are close to the estimate values. Uh, from these figures, we can see that the malicious worker generated by our tech model have higher weight compared with the normal workers. This figure shows the partial knowledge attack evaluation results. The low bolt in figure means the attacker mm, does not use the bootstrapping technique to estimate the before attack values. We can see that as the attacker has access to more data provided by normal workers, the estimation ever increased, and the attacker can slightly improve the attack performance when use the bootstrapping technique to estimate the before attack values. We also propose two defenses to mitigate our data poisoning attack. The first one is the median of weighted errors defense, or we call MWA defense. The MWA defense also uses a weight parameter to measure the worker's reliability, but it uses three steps to estimate the value for each item. The several first partition workers who observe this item into air groups then compare the weighted average of values in each group, and finally take the median of the error values. This is our WMA defense procedure, which is pretty similar to the CIH model. The only difference is how the server estimates the aggregated values. Our second defense is maximum influence of estimation defense, or MIE defense. In MIE defense, the server tries to detect the malicious workers and remove the detected malicious worker from the crowdsourcing system. In MIE defense, we assume the server knows the number of malicious workers in the system. The server first finds a subset of workers that have the largest influence, then considers these workers as malicious workers and removes these workers from the crowdsourcing system and finally estimate the aggregated values with the remaining workers. These two figures show the defense evaluation results. We see that our proposed two defense could effectively mitigate our proposed data poisoning attacks and the maximum attack. In conclusion, we perform a systematic study on data poisoning attacks and defense to cross-sourcing system. We demonstrate that crowdsourcing systems are vulnerable to data poisoning attacks, and we also propose two defenses to mitigate our data poisoning attack. Thank you.